I wasn't sure if I would like Hiroshima because of its heavy history, but once I got here I realized that it's absolutely beautiful and has many things to offer. Off to Hiroshima today. So it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Hiroshima, so we're gonna go to the castle to check it out. But before we do, we hit up this place for a local speciality. This is Hiroshima's version of okonomiyaki at this place run by obachans, the Japanese word for grandma. Hiroshima's take on the dish uses noodles as filling instead of yams. We caught a streetcar to get to Hiroshima's castle, which dates back to 1589. It was spared from demolition during the Meiji Restoration, only to be destroyed by the atomic bomb on August 6, 1945. Okay, so I've made my way to Hiroshima Castle, so come with me and let's check it out. Okay, lining up to go into the castle. So inside the castle, it's very much just like a museum. It's not a traditional castle interior. The original castle, of course, was destroyed during World War II, during the atomic bombing. Hiroshima Castle is also known as Carp Castle, which you can see right behind me. Japanese castles adorn their roofs with a pair of statues like this, as an emblem and form of protection against evil spirits. Hiroshima's in the shape of a carp. I'm now standing in the castle tower, which was an essential defense mechanism against any potential attackers. These openings here were used to drop rocks down to enemies below. There are also these openings here which were used for archers. If you get inspired by this incredible samurai armor, you can dress up as one and take a photo of yourself for free. No overpriced Polaroids here. On this floor we have a lot of traditional looking Japanese rooms which are tatami no heya. These tatami map rooms were used for reading, shoro or Japanese calligraphy and entertaining guests with tea. This is a traditional Japanese kitchen and dining room. This is a cargo used for carrying people. I made my way up to the fifth floor, which is the observation deck. Let's go have a look. Okay, so it's a beautiful view up here. There's a particularly impressive moat around this castle. It's been a really beautiful day here in Hiroshima and coming into the castle has been a really nice experience. The cherry blossoms had just started to bloom around the castle grounds. Woke Pawn starting now. Hiroshima Castle, done. In the late afternoon, we headed to Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. This is Genbaku Dome. It's a symbol of Hiroshima and remains as a reminder 72 years after the war. Originally Hiroshima Prefecture's Industrial Promotional Hall, this World Heritage listed site was essentially ground zero when the bomb detonated 600 meters above. The Hiroshima Cenotaph is a monument that has all the bomb victims' names inscribed on it. It's the site for the annual memorial ceremony held every August 6. It carries the epitaph, rest in peace, for we shall not repeat the error. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. I'm Lin Yunt. I'll catch you next time.